Hello everybody, it's Joe here, uh, sitting in the dark, and I'm going to give you an introductory teaching on the jots and the tittles. And what we're going to use is what's commonly known as the Shema, the watchword of our faith that uh, was given to Moses and is recorded in uh, the Torah, in Deuteronomy 6.4. And it reads in English here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Now in the Hebrew, well, we can translate it into English Hebrew. <laughs> here, O Israel, Yahweh our God is one Yahweh. Or hero Israel, Yahweh our God, Yahweh is one. Now, if you you don't need to know Hebrew to uh, pick up on this video. Uh, the word for hear in Hebrew is Shema. It's spelled with a shin, a mim, and an ayin. And the word for one is echad. It's spelled aleph, uh, het, dalet. And if you would ever have the chance to see a uh, Torah scroll, the last letter in the word for here is enlarged, and the last letter in the word akhat, one, is enlarged. And Moses did this for a very particular reason. Because the word Shema, like I said, is spelled with a shin, a mim, and an ayin. And it means to hear. But you can also spell the word Shema with a Shin, a Mim, and an Aleph. And it's pronounced exactly the same way, Shema, but it means perhaps. And uh, Moses, by enlarging that last letter in Hero Israel, was guaranteeing that you never wanted to hear or you never wanted it to have be written, perhaps, O Israel, Yahweh, our God, is one Yahweh. So that's the reason the ayin in the Shema is enlarged. And now I said the word echad, which means one, a unified one, spelled aleph, het, and dalit. And if you're familiar with Hebrew, there's a letter that looks uh, similar to the last letter in that word, and it's a resh. They look very similar, and you never want it to be written. That word would be echar, which means other or alien, and it's spelled aleph, uh, het, resh. And you never wanted a scribe when he was copying the Torah or the prophets to make a mistake and write down Echar instead of Echad. Because it, you'd never want it to be written or heard, you know, Hero Israel, Yahweh, our God, is another strange Yahweh. You definitely don't want that written. And if you would misspell both words, you know, you never want it to be written, perhaps, oh Israel, Yahweh our God is another strange God. You definitely don't want that written or heard from the lips of any of the believers in the God of Israel. And another very interesting thing about the two 
letters that are uh, enlarged in this scripture is that the uh, ayin and the dalit, uh, a word that's pronounced ayd or ad, means witness. So a true witness of the God of Israel would say, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh, our Elohim, Yahweh, our God, is one Yahweh. That would be the true witness of a uh, believer in the God of Israel. And those two letters that are enlarged are what uh, Messiah Yeshua referred to as a tittle. And it's part of the teaching that goes along with that scripture. A true witness will never say Yahweh is another God or perhaps Yahweh is our God. You know, they're very sure about it. The true witness of the God of Israel will bear this witness, Hero Israel, Yahweh our Elohim is one Yahweh. I hope this was informative and mysterious since I'm sitting here in the dark. And uh, I'll be back with some more little teachings that hopefully will increase your faith in our Messiah Yeshua. Over and ouch.